A new restaurant in Amarillo has drawn some criticism and accusations of racism over its name and sign. It is a Mexican restaurant called Big Beaners, and the owner is a local attorney. ABC 7's Maria Serrano joins us live outside the restaurant to explain both sides of the debate. Maria. Well, the owner of this restaurant is Jesse Quackenbush. I got a chance to speak to him this afternoon. And to set the record straight, I made sure to read the definition of what a beaner was. Take a listen. A derogatory term used to describe people of a Hispanic. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. I want to listen to you and make sure we, you know, get your side as well. Owner Jesse Quackenbush says it's simple. The restaurant is selling beans, coffee, and Mexican food, which is why it's named Big Beaners. There's no intention of racism behind that sign. The sign is merely trying to connect the brand with the product. We spoke to Abel Bosques, president of our local LULAC chapter, the League of United Latin American Citizens. It was a word that was used like, you beaners, uh, you wet back, uh, you uh, dirty Mexicans. And if anyone took the time to read the menu and then look at the logo and understand it's a kidney bean, not an Abel Bosquez or some Mexican on some board at some committee, it's a bean. It's a kidney bean. There's no racist intention. Why is it a brown bean with a Mexican hat? a big mustache and pointy boots. That is offensive to Mexicanos. If the goal was an association with beans, why not big bean, big frijoles or some such? Because we wanted to we wanted to use big beaners. We liked the name, kind of like big Texan, the word big. We wanted to have, you know, Hispanic culture and Latin culture enveloped in our our mascot, our logo. Quackenbush continues by saying the majority of Hispanics are not offended by it. People that are responding saying, you know, I'm 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 all right with that. They probably haven't experienced the racism. Would you apologize for those that feel that they are offended? The answer to that is a capital no. Well, I apologize for nothing related to this business. I think this is a big hoax and a scam that's been set up by a couple former restauranteurs that recently have gone out of business and they just got sour grapes because a white guy's opening a Mexican restaurant. But Bosque says even if the owner would have been of Mexican descent, it would not have changed the meaning of it. Racism is racism regardless of who does it. I can be a racist against my own people. ABC 7 News requested a statement from the Amarillo Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. It reads in part, the chamber has never contacted Mr. Jesse Quackenbush regarding the Big Beaner's name he chose for his new restaurant. The comments on his social media post regarding the Hispanic Chamber are not factual. We have received many complaints and questions regarding the name of the restaurant. We hear the concerns and we understand we are a business organization and not a civil rights organization. Well, the Hispanic Chamber also tells us that it understands the freedom of enterprise and says everyone and anyone can name their business how they prefer. I'm live in Amarillo, Maria Serrano, ABC 7 News.